Hello fellow space engineers, today we are here in our planetary vehicle test platform but that's not the main subject for today. Um, I'm going to return to a particular theme uh, from the past and it was the first videos that I made for the channel. They were about uh, torpedo testing and that's why I have that destroyer all the way there. And I'm going to show it to you now. This is the uh, Calypso class destroyer that I have been updating continuously that I use in my survival now and some suggestions were made uh, by a fellow uh, space engineer uh, the Soconan he suggested that I changed over the Vanilla Gatlings for the Okim Industries uh, quad defense turrets and so far they have proven very effective in close-in weapon system, you know, as a hard-killed defense mechanism for incoming projectiles. So, let me show you real quick what we're going to do. Okay, here it is. I'm going to show it to you here in creative mode, because as soon as I paste this torpedo, it's gonna just fire away. So, the torpedo is being controlled by the mod uh, cruise missile, so in effect it will be a cruise missile. Although in in a space, I guess you wouldn't make uh, like a really a real difference between a torpedo and a missile. I guess you can catalog the all of those as projectiles. So for all effects, this is an anti-ship missile. It's very simple. It has a single small thruster, a part of a rotor to hold it to the craft, a single small reactor, remote control, warhead, and the gyroscope. So, let's try shooting at least eight of these. And let's see how they behave. Okay, the game is beginning to lag. Let's see. We are at the destroyer, just trying to catch the torpedoes in flight. It's really dark. Oh, okay, here we go. One down. Second one is down. Third one. And they all missed. Okay, that was kind of like a weird result. Uh, I have to say that sometimes they just bypass the target. It's uh, understandable because the mod is uh, a work in progress. I'm gonna put a link to the description in the description to the mod. So it is made by the same author, Elton Cersei, same author of the Tron Conquest mod, which is actually uh, at this point more effective than destroying larger vessels. So let's try again. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Let's try with six, which is the capacity of the torpedo rack for the. Calypso class destroyer. I think I lost count anyway. Okay, let's follow them with the spectator camera. Nice line. I'm surprised how precise the 50mm cannon is. actually more accurate than the, the, the rockets. Hmm. 
Okay, let's try with a different one now. Okay, this is a different approach. This is a larger torpedo, it's basically the size of a small drone. And as you can see, it's battery powered, which according to the new patch, or like after the new patch, it might be cheaper to build like this. But it requires time to charge, so it's not like you can like produce them and shoot them one after the other in survival. So let's try again with six. This should be actually we should have a better acceleration than the other one. Although the distance is 1.5 kilometers, and these torpedoes in general overall they reach maximum speed at one kilometer. So the the remaining 500 meters they just stay at, at max speed. Okay, let's go. Follow them. These ones, they have maneuvering thrusters, so they're gonna begin this corkscrew pattern. Okay, the first one is down. Second one. more like it but still hmm. okay <clears throat> sorry anyway uh, this is actually splash damage from the the explosion of the warhead when it was detonated by this turret here but as you can see they get thrown off course and they try to reacquire and they lose speed they basically bleed a lot of speed when they try to correct their their course so in the end I would say the damage is cosmetic and well that brings us to like the main subject of this video which is like how effective can cruise missiles be in this game at this point they might improve later on and I have to say that the product of this mod is well it's the product of me pestering Elton enough until he decided to make an offshoot of the drone conquest mod because in the initial testing we discovered that sometimes the drones were ramming the ship that they were attacking creating some damage not catastrophic damage but some damage so we figured that if they fly fast enough and if they have the right amount of components whether it be warheads or heavier blocks like um, those space balls or the the blaster block or heavy armor they might be able to do some kinetic damage or explosive damage turns out that in all the results what I've been getting so far is this so you're basically trading off uh, reactor components, thruster components, you're trading them off for armor plates, steel plates. And it's just not, you know, it's, it's not feasible as a weapon at this point. Yeah, you're gonna have like a, an explosion on, you know, a lot of tracers and fire and all that, but in the end, you're not gonna get the effect on an enemy vessel at best this is what you're gonna get and this is a static target so this might as well be a space station it still wouldn't be you know too big of a deal for a space station uh, after you get this damage you can basically fix this with a hand welder so at this point uh, I would say that torpedoes will require torpedoes and cruise missiles or anti-ship missiles they will require several things to be effective. Uh, first of all, the speed, the game speed will have to be increased. So 
that is one mod for you. You would have to install one of those like top speed mods. But if the top speed mod also increases the speed of the vessels, um, you know, of the, the large ships in this case, you may be back to square one. Uh, what you could do is get uh, that mod that increases the speed of the smaller ships um, higher than the speed of the large ships, so the large ships are always going to be slower. In that case, it might work. The second thing that you need is an actual damaging warhead. Right now, a small ship warhead is only good for basically uh, self-destructing a ship, a small ship that you install it in. We use it in the Drone Conquest mod as a mechanism for cleaning the, the scene. So when a drone gets destroyed, like right next to the, the core area, the remote control, the gyroscopes, we placed a warhead. So the drone basically gets deleted from the game and you don't have you know, debris floating around like in the server. Uh, basically, a small ship warhead is only good at that at this point. Against large ship armor, this is what it does. Just that. Okay, that's the second thing. We have the speed mode and we have a, a mode for the warhead. Also, if you want to make them more agile, like in the case of the smaller, um, smaller uh, cruise missiles that I showed you earlier, you will need to install the RCS uh, thrust, thruster mode. You know, the small, like Bernier type of, of thrusters. So you have like a smaller profile. But uh, that being said, you just saw in this video that having a smaller projectile doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to evade the anti-aircraft fire. And I have to say something, these Okim Industries uh, turrets, the, the quad guns, these have a slower rate of fire. So they, they put less projectiles in the air to intercept that a small target. So if this is lower firing, slower than a Gatling gun, if this slowing, uh, slowing fire um, weapon can actually take down such a small projectile, well, I guess uh, you need to think of something else. Now, I would say that the only real answer at this point is having um, a modded rocket launcher that basically shoots a rocket that is um, of higher power and I've seen those in the workshop so I don't know uh, I want to hear your comments uh, suggestions what would you do to make a cruise missile or a, an anti-ship missile work in the game at this point okay that's all for now and I hope to hear from you take care and keep playing okay um, I'm sorry for that that was an early goodbye so um, I there's still one more thing that I want to show you and uh, let's see here um, this is something that I put together it's uh, kind of like a retrofit of my sentry drone I retrofitted it into a kinetic torpedo but let's be honest this is nothing more than a glorified ramming drone so I just turned that defense drone that I had and I turned it into a, a ramming drone just added some let me show you real quick here here I changed the rocket launchers uh, with this blaster blocks it's quite resilient especially to frontal assaults so okay all we need to do is just add this pound here to complete the title, the, the name, and it will be um, taken over by the cruise missile script. But it, off it goes really fast, as you can see. First goes down, or I don't know, whatever direction it wants, and then acquires the target. It's gonna begin maneuvering. And I think I already lost too much speed. Let's see. Well, as you can see, it can take a few hits. Come on. Stay in course. Okay. 
That didn't happen the first time. <laughs> uh, let's go again. Okay, second try. Hopefully, it will work. Down it goes again. I don't know why it's doing this now. Okay, please stay on track. So far, we get the damage that it cost. Took out the antenna and the bottom attachment point for the mission package. That's what it did. Still, it's not a good trade off for you know all of the components that were lost there. Okay, I hope third time's the charm, so I'll try to uh, have it attack from the top. Where is it? Off you go. Still going down. Ugh. Steadier. Oh, not anymore. Okay, that's perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, what you just saw is the cleanest hit that you're ever gonna get. What did it do? Destroy some armor. Some of the airtight hangar doors. Didn't do anything to the drones. The drones for some reason became undocked. But this is it. Like so far, the destroyer held. I mean, it did its job. The armor protected the delicate contents, which is you know, which are the drones. So, and this piece is basically intact. Yeah, it didn't puncture through. It didn't wreck the drone hangar or anything. It didn't take any defenses. And this is ideal, this is, uh, I would say, like a center of mass midships hit. So, there's nothing wrong with the mod as it is. I mean, it could be perfected, uh, according to Elton. He said that it could be improved, but, I mean, at this point, like I said before, it doesn't matter how perfect uh, the mod is. It's... Uh, what we need to do is get uh, better warheads and faster moving uh, torpedoes or uh, cruise missiles which actually brings uh, a few problems especially regarding the whole collisions physics uh, in the game at this point the, the game's collisions they they are quite funky as it is and I've seen what happens with the uh, speed mods and that's why they have the speed locked and 
at 104 meters per second because like at this point in the game engine uh, if you move faster than that weird stuff is gonna happen you're gonna basically go through things so if this torpedo was any faster it may have completely gone through the destroyer without doing anything or ideally it would you know go through and then what when the game like catch up to itself uh, this torpedo will be embedded in the middle exploding and that will be an exploitation of a glitch which would cause like the most damage that uh, any torpedo can cause at this time so yeah I mean it's, it's up to you um, I want to hear what you have to say <laughs>